attends Manhattan Hunter Science High School and is doing his research at Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey.
the, you have to measure the absorbance at, the absorbance at 500, 570 nanometers to Um, this is the data from my um, first practice um, MTT for MTT assay, and this is um, this result came out kind of incorrect because it was too high. This one was the only one that came out correct, and this this one was wrong too. But this one and this one was wrong because probably there was contamination in the hood and the incubator, or there was too much light exposure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I wasn't able to finish the experiment with more research because summer kind of ended. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this summer I'm working on something else. I'm working, I'm working on robotic gardens at the same place. <laughs> with like, the same effort, but yeah. Um, robotic gardens as in people who come back from like war, they lost mm -hmm. birds and everything. So those people like, get the chance to test out the new robotic arms that we make in the lab, and they get to experience what we And I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Sad and the technology, ACS staff, Dr. Ritter, and the senior teacher technology staff, and the lab group. Thank you, these are my references. Thank you. 